Hey Pitmasters, what is up? Welcome to another episode and today we're going to be comparing these three beef ribs. I do all these steak comparison videos and what a great excuse would it be to make more beef ribs because I love beef ribs so much. So I got flat ribs, US grain fed. I've got Wagyu and I've got da -da -da -da, flat rib Angus. Look at these. And the funny thing is that although these are all the same cuts and all the same size, they're different colors. You can see that the Wagyu and the grain fed are much darker than the uh, Angus. And now I should come up with some explanation why that is. I don't know. So if you have any idea why it's a different color, why the Wagyu is much darker in color, please let me know. First, let's take out the US grain fed. To make sure that we remember this is the grain fed, I'm gonna put a little G on the bottom, carve it in there. It's not gonna work with my knife. Let's fix that problem right now. Those are pretty good tattoo skills. Yeah, yeah, you don't want me to make you a tattoo. I understand. These are the Wagyu flat ribs. And finally, the Angus ribs. There's a lot of fat still on these ribs. I think we might take off some of that fat. Now that problem is sorted. Let's take a look at these individual cuts. Now the main thing is that I don't know how much they've been dry aged, but if you look at these ribs, look at that. These are the Angus ones. And look at that marbling. It's just crazy, right? Now let's take a look at the Wagyu. Also great marbling. A lot of fat in there, really beautiful. And then finally our grain fed beef ribs. A lot of marbling in there as well. But basically all of these cuts look amazing. They have great intermuscular fat and that's why these beef ribs are so super popular. If you smoke these at a low temperature for a longer period of time, you're gonna have an amazing cut. It's gonna be very forgiving and it's gonna be very tasty. We're going to season these with salt and pepper and then put them on the barbecue. This is a real natural way to approach these ribs. It's just gonna be salt, pepper, and smoke. And that's gonna give us with a good reference base for tasting the individual ribs and seeing which one we like best. We already set up our Kamada Joe Big Joe to smoke at 110 degrees Celsius, which is 225 degrees Fahrenheit. We dialed in the eye command and it's gonna keep it up to temperature. And we're going to at least smoke these ribs for two to three hours. Let's open up the grill. We've got a big chunk of hickory in the grill. I'm gonna close the lid and I'm gonna check on them every half hour or so, just to make sure that we get that color that we want. It's been three hours, time to check on the ribs. Wow, look at that color. That is absolutely fantastic. The ribs have picked up a nice bit of color, nice red. The fat is starting to render down. I wanna take them off the grill now. We're going to wrap them in butcher paper because remember, we said the butcher paper is the one to go for with the ribs. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. Here's the first one. Wrap that in butcher paper. This goes back on the grill. See how funny that is? Sometimes the bones just pop out on the other side. And finally, the last one. Oh, look at how juicy that already is. There we go. Oh, look at that smoke. Are you guys still there? Ah, there you are. Well, I'm just gonna let this come up the temperature to around 98 degrees Celsius. And um, when it hits that point, we're just gonna unwrap it and take a look at how it looks. Maybe then we're just gonna throw it on the grill, just uh, 15 minutes or so, but we'll see about that right when it happens. Time to check on these ribs. Let's go. Open up that paper. And at this point, I just want to probe them with my thermometer just to get a sense of where we are. We're at 96 degrees Celsius. But what really strikes me is that they're super, super tender. My probe goes through like, like through hot butter. It's time to take them out. Look, the G from Grain Fed. Let's put it on the board. There we go. What an absolute beautiful cut of beef. Now we're not gonna throw away the fat that's in the paper. 
Time to get the next one off. It's the W, it's the Wagyu. Pure Wagyu fat, rendered down. It is more fat, definitely more fat than the other one. Let's get the last one off. Whoa. And this is gonna be the Angus. Look at that. Now save this beef fat in your fridge. And then when you need it, you get your spoon out, put something in a pan, bake some potatoes, I don't know, do anything cool with it. Now this is how you know you did a proper job. Look at this. It's wiggly and it's just juicy and greasy. This thing is super, super soft. All of them smell like beef bacon. The salt and the smoke and the beef. Man, it just brings out the best in the beef ribs. Look how wiggly that is. Can't wait to slice into this and give it a try. Which one should we go for first? I don't know. I'm just gonna select one by hand. The one that feels best to me, we're going to slice into that first. <laughs> My cameraman is still and he's like, mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, this is crazy. It sounds really fantastic. And it, you know, the smell over here is like, we're going both, we're going nuts. I'm gonna be careful here, but these might be my best beef ribs just yet. The one that feels the best to the touch. I'm, I'm guessing this one, it feels really good. And why, let me explain why. The Wagyu feels a little more tough. This one is the, um, the G from grain fed. And there's just a lot of fat in there. There's a big bulb in here. And this one is a lot of muscle. This was the one that didn't have too much color on it. That was lighter. So I want to slice into that first. This thing is so super juicy. And this is the grain fat. I want to take a slice of this and get a proper taste. Look at that. Straight off that bone. Absolute thing of beauty. There we go. This is perfection. This is... This is the USA grain fat. And I don't know, I, I don't understand. You know, the Angus and the Wagyu can't be better than this. This is so freaking amazing. One slice for the cameraman. It's like we can't go back from pepper and salt and smoke. Now let's slice into the Wagyu. It's just a slight difference. The, the structure of the grain is a little different. You can see that the, the fibers are a bit tougher. It's just a different structure. It feels different. And this is what I felt when I pinched into it. Let's slice into it and give it a try, right? Clean off the bone, just as the other one. Absolutely gorgeous. And the moisture is just insane. There we go. It's even more tender than the other one. And this is really weird. I didn't expect this because I pinched into it and I felt it. It feels different, but it also tastes more beefy. And there's more of a beefy flavor. But you know where beef and liver are like the same type of flavor? The other one, the grain fed one, was milder. Mm. This is tough. Not the meat, um, the decision of which one is better. My personal opinion right now would go to the grain fed instead of the Wagyu. And that's weird. I'm a big Wagyu fan. There you go, brother. So you actually like the um, US one better, right? Now up to the grain fed. This one, that was the Angus, the first one. That was the Angus, this is the G, this is the grain fed. This explains a little bit why I didn't expect, but the Angus tasted better than the Wagyu. Now we're going to the grain fed. Let's slice into it. This, is a, this one is less juicy. It's too, still good, don't get me wrong. It's less juicy than the Angus or the Wagyu. Look at that. Nice and juicy. Looking absolutely fantastic. Nice smoke ring. 
Let's bite into it. Oh, I like this. Nice amount of smoke. Salty, peppery, tender, juicy. Mm. This is now the hardest point because I'm going to have to say, well, first, let's feed the cameraman. There you go, brother. It's better than the Wagyu, right? The flavor is better. No, I'm really confused. Well, this is really, really blowing my mind. Putting these things side to side, and I got a reference here, and thank God he's here. But, you know, I gotta say that Wagyu is like, it's the, the, the worst taste. I can't say worst. This is absolutely freaking fantastic. All three of them were absolutely amazing. Best beef ribs I ever cooked in my life. But the Wagyu, it had that almost like liver, beefy liver flavor. And it was a little too much. It's just a little too overpowering to the salt and the pepper and the tenderness of the beef. I really, really like that first cut, that Angus that we got. I really love that grain fat. I really enjoyed the, uh, the Wagyu, but if I have to choose now, I think I'm going to choose, I, th I really think I'm going to choose the last one, the, the grain fed. I think that's the one that really, really stands out here. Because it's less fatty, it's, it's more structured, it has more, I don't know, riches, and it's more uh, imbalance. Imbalance is the right word here. Spending more money on Wagyu than on grain fed. It did it for me, US grain fed, absolutely fantastic cut. But now I got a problem. How can we ever top this on beef ribs? That's hard. We need to get more butcher paper, that's what we need. We're gonna get a big roll. We're gonna get a big roll. I'm gonna get more butcher paper in. Best beef ribs I ever cooked in my life. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. And if you enjoyed those juices dripping from the meat, then uh, give this video a big thumbs up and a comment down below. Let me know your personal opinion. And I wanna say a big thank you to everyone that's supporting our channel through Patreon or right here as a YouTube member. And also the guys that translate my videos. If you're up for that, give it a try. The link is down below in the video description and then you're a big help. Uh, see you guys in the next video. Until then, eat smaklik and keep on grilling.